Welcome back. So here's a time lapse of the storm that rolled through Madison. This is from the university. You can kind of see a quick rain shower moving through. Now we can't really see whether it's a tornado as the rain is kind of wrapped around the cell, but a good uh, indication of that storm rolling through. Just impressive when you look at that making its way through the area. Like we mentioned earlier, National Weather Service will be out there tomorrow to survey the damage, determine the track and the strength of this uh, potential tornado. For now, though, a much different story. Radar has quieted down a couple of sprinkles out there. That's about it. Otherwise, we just have the cloudy skies. And from here, everything is not only clearing out, but calming down. Today's high is topped out for most of us into the 70s. A few even stuck into the 60s, Whitewater, Lake Geneva and Beaver Dam. Milwaukee down to Kenosha, upper 70s, just a degree away from 80 in Kenosha. That's where we saw just a little bit of sunshine. No worries, we all see sunshine tomorrow. Temperatures right now, they cool down with the rain showers, 50s. 59 from West Bend to Waukesha, 58 at Burlington. On the lakefront, a little bit warmer, still sitting into the lower 60s. So still a nice night tonight. Tomorrow morning with the added moisture, you might wake up to some fog, especially for our inland areas. I do think we'll see enough wind through the overnight to kind of mix this up so fog isn't a huge issue. But if you are heading out early tomorrow morning, just keep that in mind. You might run into a little pocket of some fog here or there. Here's future forecast through the overnight. Watch the clouds just erode into nothing. Still a pretty gusty wind, 10 to 20 miles an hour, and then they calm down heading into tomorrow morning. Just about 5 to 10 from the southwest, so a nice gentle breeze early on. All sunshine all day long. They turn to the south. We do get a little breeze going into the afternoon, about 10 to 15 miles per hour, so much better than today. Just a little breezy at times if you're spending any time outdoors, and we keep the clear skies around all the way into tomorrow night. So. Definitely enjoy the day tomorrow. 56 for our overnight low temperature. Gradually we clear things out. The rain showers have pretty much ended and in the next couple of hours we'll watch the clouds on their way out as well and winds calming down early on still about 10 to 20 miles per hour. But by tomorrow morning in that five mile per hour ballpark, then for the day tomorrow, 75 degrees. Average high temperature for this time of year is 63. So feeling very summer like south winds or southwest winds turning to the south about five to 15 miles per hour. So again, once in a while, a little breeze, but nothing too bad especially when we look into today. Monday, wow, summer continues. We just can't shake summer as we go through fall. Uh, we do get a little fall stretch though. Tuesday and Wednesday, that's really our only cool down and those temperatures right near average. Maybe an isolated shower uh, Tuesday night into Wednesday. Very, very hit and miss. I wouldn't count on it. If you have outdoor plans, definitely do not cancel them. And then, hey, heading into next weekend, we're back to the 70s once again. So that's 10 degrees above average. I will hang on to every last yeah, bit of summer. Me like too, I, you'll me not too. find me complaining. I mean, this is maybe a silly question, but yeah. is is there any like science behind like will the winter now go longer? Or so basically, be it's going to it's going to come down to the La Nina that's forming because that's what looks like it's going to happen out into the ocean, and we can look at you know where that where where that usually pans out. The problem with us is we're kind of right in the middle, so it can honestly shift either way when we look at what typically happens. So. Um, it's a wait and see type All thing. All right, yeah. welcome to Wisconsin. <laughs> exactly. All right.